Hi everyone. Right, this is the dragonfly that I altered yesterday. Um, and what I'm going to do is, I've been asked how do you make them. Well, this was a bought one, but what I can do is show you this one that I've made. Um, they're not hard to do. You can use any materials you want to use. Um, I'm just going to... With this one, I use the netting, but you can, like I say, you can use any. So I'm just going to give you a quick rundown on how it's done. Now, I've used an extra long stick just to show you, so I can move that about. But um, you need a piece of wire. So I'm just going to cut this one. You need a firm piece of wire, to be honest. Now, this is quite a strong... Uh, wire, that's it. Put that one back. To start with, uh, I'm just going to move that to one side. And as you can see, it does have a nice body on it and everything. And you can do these any size you want. So for now, I'm just going to stick that to one side. So here's the... Um, let's just get some material. I just want a piece of netting. So you're going to need a small piece of netting. I'm just going to cut a chunk off because we'll use what we need to use. Okay, I'm going to see about that much. Should do everything we need. Just pop that in the tube. You need a little bit of wadding. Now you take a bit of wadding for the head. Okay, so I'm just going to cut that. And then what I did um, was to fold it all into itself not sure if my glue gun's going to be hot in here it's ready and then i just popped a little bit of glue in the middle took the stick and just twisted that round like that and that's all you need to do and then you take a little bit of glue and um, let that cool a minute and then when you're ready just dry it off like that and you get your head now you could it don't worry about it being out of shape or anything like that next you want to do the body section so what I'm going to do with the body section is pop a little bit of glue on there we're only doing that to uh, make that stick and then roll some of the wadding and I've turned mine back like that and then you need to just pop a little bit of glue just to hold that down. Now don't worry about anything else at all. If you think that's too much, fine, change it. And I do think that's too much, so what I'm going to do is cut around the wadding and take that bit of wadding off. Easy as that. That's a little bit better for me. Might still be a bit too big, so I'm going to do that again. like that and that's all you do then with the netting the first thing you're going to do is put that in the middle pull that over pull that down like that you need some cotton now you need strong cotton of course start with one end make sure you've got a little bit at least four inches left um, and then wrap that around the head then you want to tie that off Just tie that off. This is so simple to make one. Um, and like I say, the wings can be made out of anything. You could have cotton material. You could have um, this chiffon stuff. You, you know, anything you want. It doesn't matter. Okay. Uh, and then what I did, just to hold that in place, and double glue on there and spin that around. And that's it. It's done. And then what you do next is, sorry, you need to cut that piece off as well. Let me get that as close as I can. Now you've got the body section, so just fold all this in like that and just fold it round. Right, so you've got the body that you want. Take your thread again and then wind that on the end. 
really tight and then I'm going to cut that only because it's easier to tie it and then what you do is cut that off discard the shorter bits because I'm not sure you'll apart from candles you know glue sticks and put the ends in for candles you won't need anymore leave about a centimeter and I'm just gonna cut around that like that now take the bit that you've got left again just wrap it around, tie it in a knot. You could have left this uh, uh, as it was and then just carried on with this bit. But I like to do mine separate because I do like to be able to uh, make sure that I've got it just how I want it. Just going to do that a double knot. Trim that off. And then what you do is you wrap your cotton around there like that and it doesn't have to be perfect but as long as you've you've got that covered like that and then what I'm going to do is I just touch I'm going to choose that as the bottom section so I just put a little bit of glue on there and then I just twist that in as far as it'll go, it's not going to go anywhere. And then I snip that off. And there you go. You've got the body, the head. And it's, I mean, it's not quite the same as that, but you can mess about with it. Push that up a bit if you want like that. You know, it, it is on a stick. You can do what you like with it. So that's the body section. And then you cut this however long you want it. And no matter what you cover it in, it will paint like this one. Oh, sorry. Where is it? Oh, yeah. Um, you know, I've just done the same thing with this using this mesh. Um, and it's covered quite well. Now, what we're going to do next is to do the wings. And the easiest thing to do the wings with um, and now you can always colour that first as well if you wanted to. But the easiest thing that I found um, is any material, to be honest. It's not the easiest thing. What I'm saying is you can use any material to make the wings. Now I'm just going to put these two away because I don't want to use them. But I am going to use some material. And um, let's have a look. I've got here some brown shimmery material which is gorgeous so I'm just going to cut a piece of this like that I'm just going to fold that in half for now uh, and the way to keep that I'm just going to Run the glue gun. It's just to keep it shut for now. Like that. Don't worry about anything like that. Now, what I can do if I want to is use the stiffener. Um, it's millinery stiffener. Um, but I don't think I'm going to. I think what I'm going to do... Yeah, I think all I'm going to do with mine is just run a couple of rows of glue down and just flatten that down. That will just hold that stiff how I want it. Now I've got this wing that was from an old dragonfly um, and I actually do want to snip that there. Now what you do is you fold this material in half, don't forget you have to do it the width you want your wings. Pop the wings on which are going to be like that. Okay so my material is glued together and that's just to hold the wing, um, the material on its own together. That's what I'm saying. Like 
because I'm using a satin. Okay. But like I say, you can use any kind of material uh, to make wings with. So, as you can see, I've got those now. Just going to make sure they are the same. That's not quite the same. Like that. And then you can fix these across the body. But before you do that, you do have to do the wire. And I'm just going to... Now, do I have a... Oh, yes, I've got a lighter here. I'm just going to burnish the ends together. Okay. Like that. If they're not quite how you want them, you can alter them. Now, before I cut them down this section here, I'm just going to add the other wire. Now, like I say, um, I'm going to use it's all it's paper covered wire, uh, and the reason why I'm going to use that is because they're easier to paint. Although this is quite thick, but I'm not bothered about that. When this is on the project, you won't see the back of the wings. Okay, let's have a look. You obviously need it to go across. You can cut it a little bit bigger to start with so you can actually grip it. And then, oops, sorry, I've got an itch. Then what you do is you just put a little bit of glue here in the middle. Two dots. That's for that one. Just hold it in place. And that one. I generally try and do that because it does help stick. Hold that down in place. And then I will glue where I want the wings to go, the wire. Okay. Just push them into place. And say, don't worry about the ends. Turn that around. You might find an easier way to do it. There are lots of different ways you could make wings, but for now, I'm just trying to show an easy way. Um, and take it away with you and you go and play okay that's all so now I've got the wings on then all I'm going to do is just to slightly I won't pull that back actually because it's stuck tight now so I'm just going to snip off these of course you can paint them underneath There you go. But those wings can now be added to my dragonfly. And all I do, because I want that, um, I want this for the top, is to add the wings on there. And then I'm just going to snip these a little bit down the middle just add a flame to it just for a minute underneath oh my light has run out I think now the thing is where did Mr J put my uh, gas well, you don't know, so I might have to just go without doing that. 
Yeah, it's not working. I'm going to have to go without doing it. I'll uh, wait till he comes in because he's out at the car boot at the moment. But you can have these wings then wherever you want them. Right, you can, you know, overlap them if you want. Well, they'd go that way actually. Slightly put them underneath. But, you know, anywhere, just anywhere. I'm going to cut those a little bit more. Uh, and there you are, you've got your dragonfly, and you can, um, I don't know if they go, yeah, they'd go like that, wouldn't they? Uh, you can then decorate them however you want, and regarding this, it will paint, and I'll just show you that it'll paint. Um, I'm taking the Inca Gold, a little bit of water in my pot, take a bit of the Inca Gold like that. And you just paint it up like that. So you can make the dragonfly yourself. The wings can be any material. So can this, you know, it doesn't have to be uh, like this netting. Anyhow you want. You must let it dry once you've painted it, if you are going to, you know, change it. I mean, you will do, obviously, but you know what I mean. Move, uh, always let your work... Well, when I say always let your work dry, it, it doesn't have to always dry. I've, you know, done projects um, and not let it dry. Now I'm going to paint over the material as well. Only because it's going to give it a good look. If you've got sm um, smaller wire, then use that. Right now, I don't know where anything is because he's moved all sorts when he uh, tried organising my room. I don't know why he organised it, though. <laughs> you know what he's like. Because now I can't find anything. and I have to keep shouting, Raymond, where's this? Where's that? Oh, being a pet, you've just got home. Well, don't bloody move me stuff then. <laughs> but like you say, you can actually, you know, paint anything. I always say, if um, you're using a product, product, <laughs> like um, a paint or a medium or something like that, a paste, if it sticks, use it. If it doesn't stick, there's no point in using it, is there? Right, so that's the underneath done. I'm now going to do the top because I do like that. I do like that a lot. There we go. And like you say, now I can decorate that however I want. And it's as quick and as easy and as simple as that. Um, so I hope that's helpful. They're not hard to do, like I said. Um, you can shape the wings however you want them. Uh, and then, like, I've got some of this. Oh, I've got some of this. Um, this is the uh, Luminaire and this is the Olive Green. And I just want to show you... Even while that's wet, you can still paint them over them to shimmer them up. Like that. I know dragonflies, um, you often see them as a bright blue and a bright green, you know, mix on the wing. 
and I absolutely love dragonflies and I know my friend Kelly Merton does as well so this is just ordinary satin material uh, that you can use I'm going to leave that open a minute because I want to put a little bit of the blue on put a hint of gold on as well I hope you've managed to see this yeah I kind of like the blue hue which I'm going to go back over the edges with Now for a mixed media project that would be absolutely fine but uh, I'm also just going to put in a touch of the red and I might just use that on the body section and brush that out. Yes I like that. Yeah, much better. I like that. So I'm just going to pop the lids on these. And then it does look like there's something missing uh, from it. So I've got a little bit of black glitter just to do the eyes. like that possibly a couple of dots around here um and maybe maybe a hint of gold just a hint of gold around the tips of the wings around the whole thing actually You don't need much. There's no point in spoiling something you've uh, or covering something up that you've made. I'm a firm believer in, you know, once you've created something, don't go covering it up with lots of other things just because you think it looks nice. Because quite often you lose what you were doing in the first place. If I've layered something, I like to see the layers, but I like to see all the layers. There you go. That's it. That's my butterfly. Uh, butterfly isn't a butterfly. That's my dragonfly. I can finish colouring this off and cut it however long I want it. So I hope you can see those. Um, you can do them anyhow. I'm not keen on that one now. <laughs> but that's how you do them. Thanks for watching. Oh, do you know? Wait a minute. Wait a minute. I can't. I just can't. Can't leave it like that. It just seemed to have something missing. That's it. That's what it was. It was just that little touch uh, from the centre. I hope you like those. You know... This was a bought one, this was a handmade one. Thanks for watching, take care, and I'll speak to you soon. Bye-bye for now.